guys, I am back with a new video and this video is, it's a haul plus a first impressions. So, a soup drugs haul. And plus, I went to the Poundland and I got a few bits that are kind of more makeup related so I thought I'd add them in there. So, yeah. First we'll start with the makeup and then I'll get into the Poundland bits. But you'll see why you might want to see what's going on in that little that little bag of mine. So I'm just going to empty all of this onto the bed so you don't hear that annoying bag. First thing I got was my trusty True Match foundation. However, the, the reason why I want to test this out is because it's a new shade for me. So I got it in, I don't know if you can see it from there, but I got it in 1C and the reason I got it in 1C is because usually I'm 1W, yeah 1W because I'm a bit yellowy, like the lights are washing me out but usually I'm a bit yellowy, so yeah, so I, but I do use 2C when I'm slightly tanned, slightly, like when my tans fade in. I'll use 2C. Plus the shop was out of 1W. Not out, they just didn't stock 1W. So I thought the next best one was the 1C. And as you can see, it's quite close to my shade. I would have rather the yellowy toned foundation, but I do get away with the, the white toned foundation. You know, you gotta love drugstores in the UK, yeah, because they do love to wrap their product. this foundation up because they feel like it has kind of like I'd say medium coverage but to make it full you will have to build it up but with me because I use concealer and I usually don't like building my foundation up too much and I just feel like it's a bit cakey but this foundation you can do it with so the next thing I did buy and I bought two of these is the collection last imperfection concealer and this is a fave like you'll see in all my hauls to do with makeup that I will purchase a couple of these just so that I've got a few backups because I've got no more backups and and then I bought my trusty true match powder which just I got it in the shade just to match the, the foundation and the powder I got is just the shade 1R, 1C, it says R and then it says C and I don't know why it does that and I like to kind of use my, what brush is this, setting brush and that's what I'll use to set around my eyes and then I'll go in with my big powder brush. set in place and then afterwards I didn't actually buy any contour shades or blushes I was attempt I was so tempted to buy the Lottie London new blush crushes but I didn't get any of them sadly because I don't know if I felt like they were they're like six pounds I'm not too sure if they were just pigmented enough so I didn't get any of them so I'm just gonna use the blush and go uh, blush and glow um, palette This is the part of the video that I'm really, really, uh, what's the word, excited for. So it's obviously highlight. So I've got three different highlights here and I've got the Mermaid Glow, which as you can see already, I'm just going to hold it to you guys because it's amazing. Like look at that. So this is the Lottie London Mermaid Glow rainbow highlighter so I don't even want to put my finger in it it looks too good so that's that's number one highlight so the next one I've got is by sleek and it is the new Cleopatra kiss highlighting palette 
I just had to get this. I've got like most of the, the only one I haven't got is the Midas Touch and I really want to get that. But of course it's in the gold packaging. It's got a mirror. Do you know how many brushes are on the floor from falling out of palettes? Like it's just crazy. So these are the four colours. So this one down here is called Sphinx, then Delta, Dynasty and Goddess. So this one, no, this one, so yeah, this one here and this one here are both cream blushes and the other two are just um, powder blushes, uh, not blushes, <laughs> highlights. So that is option number two. I say two, there's like four colours in there that I can choose from. And then this is another one that I was really, really looking forward to and it's the Lottie London Shimmer Squad and the thing just flew out and it comes with a little mirror like this and then let's cover it and these are the four shades so the names are on there so you get good girl flirt troublemaker and the queen bee so i'm not too sure which ones to use I've opted for Mermaid Glow, so let's just give you another look at that because you know it's just amazing. And let's do this. Oh my god, can you see that? Can you see that highlight? Oh, 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 wow, I just want to like put it everywhere, wow, okay, so I guess when I first watched that on my hand I didn't see much, I just kind of saw like a greeny shade to it and I just didn't like it, but on the face it looks incredible, oh my god, okay, so I think this was about £6. I should be telling you the prices of these. So that was £6. The Cleopatra Kiss was £10. And the Lottie London Shimmer Squad was £10 as well. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with the Revolution Eyebrow Focus and Fix Quad that I always use. And I'll get back to you. And then the next thing I bought was the Lottie London Wing Woman Eyeliner. And this is a felt tip eyeliner. So just kind of has this felt tip nib right there. And let's just say I haven't done eyeliner for years, so I thought I'd try it out. So let's see how it goes. Let's just say this eyeliner is so hard to work with. It, like it's really drying and like you gotta shake it quite a bit and it's just ugh, it's so hard. So I don't know how good it's turned out, but I'm not a really big fan of this eyeliner, so I don't know if it's my technique because I haven't done eyeliner in years, or but the eyeliner was so hard to work with, so it must not be my technique. And yes, I'm hiding this eye because it caused me such pain, such pain. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> let's move on to another fun part. And these are So I bought three lip products and the first one I bought was the L'Oreal Paris lip thing, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, it doesn't really say what it's called, so I'll do a swatch of it and it's in the, num in the shade 001 Silencio, so they twist and you pull them out and it's just got this dofer applicator right here. And that's the shade right there and then you just twist it back in and then I have these two slay all day lip kits by Lottie London and I've got the shades fleek and TBT throwback Thursday so I don't know what shade to go for I think I'm gonna go for fleek so you get a lip liner and a liquid lipstick let's see so the liquid 
The lip liner is just like that. It looks like the Kylie Jenner ones that you can kind of like sharpen. That's the colour there. So this is Fleek. Yes, it's Fleek. And it's just a nice brown colour. And it dries quite quick. But your lips still feel movable. It's quite a nice colour. I do like it. Let's try. I'm going to swatch TBT on my hands. And then this one here is TBT. So that's the lip liner and that's the liquid lipstick. And it's, it's like a cool tone purple. And I really like that colour. So maybe in a future video I can... Yes, I'm still hiding this eye. <laughs> in a future video I can swatch them but I want to get the rest of the lip kits from Lottie London because apparently you can buy them separate as well so the lip kits are £8.95 but you can buy the the, um, the liquid lipstick separate £5.95 and I think the lip liners are £3.95 but it is really creamy like when you apply the lip liner it's so creamy to apply so I would recommend them like it dried down so quick but I've only put one layer on. I just I wonder how it'd be like when you have to top it up because sometimes they crumble here. Like if you've eaten and then you've got to top it up. But yeah, so that was all the beauty stuff from Super Drugs. So let's get into the haul from Powerland. But actually I did get one more thing from Super Drugs. And it is just the nice and easy hair dye and it's just dark brown. So I'm thinking of just going to like a dark brown colour and Maybe go ombre in the future, so I just got this one, and it's, yeah, it says natural darkest brown, and usually when you dye your hair with this, it kind of goes black, so, yeah, and I use nice and easy through my, throughout my life, and I usually love it, it says it covers greys, I don't have greys, but <laughs> if I did, it would cover Even though this is a big bag, I actually bought three different items in Poundland, so I bought about four of these. And these are just acrylic, and they call them now varnish holders. But I'm going to obviously use it for lipstick. They are slightly raised at the back. I don't know if you can see that just here. But it's slightly. It's not like, you know, the ones that really go up. So I'm going to try these for lipsticks and organise my makeup drawers, which are over there, and see how they go. And in some of my last videos, you would have seen me use these and if I just take this off these are good for the Kylie lip kits because you've got like six um, holes for your liners and then you've got the liquid lipsticks that go around and I bought about seven of these because these are just amazing like it's got like a little dip at the back but yeah and you just put them on your desk or you can actually put them inside your drawers and stand them up so that you know where they are but I've kind of gone off buying Kylie lip kits at the moment but as you can see like I'm buying other lip kits from drugstore drugstore so these will come in handy and even just like maybe even putting together my, my liners with kind of certain liquid lipsticks like just putting them in colour like nudes and stuff like that that would probably work out so I bought about seven of these and I can't find them online on Poundland's shop but I went to the Dorster ones the Dorster one had loads of these and they have them in like the heart shape as well but I like this shape better and the last thing I bought from Poundland is this and it is just a mixing bowl with three brushes and because my hair is not taken to red dye properly, there's like a section here on both sides, like from here to here and from about here to here, where it's just not dyeing. I thought maybe if I use the mixing, not necessarily the mixing bowl, but like if I can evenly distribute it with these combs here, then maybe it will come out better. But it was only a pound, so I'm sure if you buy the more expensive ones from hair shops, they might actually be better. But... I just wanted to try it out so yeah so um i hope you like this haul and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye